Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of Laravel. So today we are going to learn about how to integrate MailChimp in Laravel. So let's see how we are going to integrate it. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So this is the plugin that I'm going to use and following the procedure over here. So just go and install this package right now. So I'm going to add this package. So here we go with the terminal. So this is the terminal control C. Let's add this one. Composer newsletter. Okay. This is done. Right. <clears throat> Let's move to the next step. Vendor publish. This is also done. Let's go to our newsletter. Uh, we will this will become publish a file newsletter.php. So let's see where it is. Uh, Laravel image app config. Mm, con uh, where is config newsletter newsletter.php? Right. Open it, and we have a driver Mailchimp API driver Mailchimp key. So you need to put the Mailchimp key in the env file. Same with the list id. Okay. So this to to be filled in your env file. So here we go with the env file. So I think there should be a thing. No, it's not there. So let's. I have already made it. So where we go with this one? Mm, so where it is? It is. You need to copy this and paste it in the env file. So let's open the env file. Control H for the hidden and this is the env file just open it Okay, I'm going to add this in below of it Okay, Mailchimp Right So I've added the Mailchimp API key. So here we have the API key. So I'm going to use that API key over here So this is the my API key So you need to create that API key and if you want if you want to create the API key and the list study follow my previous tutorial in the PHP you will get that one just copy it. I'm going to use in the env file over here API key and the same list ID. So here we have the list ID right now. So here we have the list ID. This is the list ID. I'm going to use it over here. Done. So this is thing. This are added. Now we have to uh, run the clear cache config. So I'm going to use this one. Next, we have to create the form. So let's go and uh, create the form with this one. So here we go with this one and we have to define the route also. Right. So first of all, let's make a view. So where we have the already view, we have uh, resources and views. So I will use my uh, import plate and I'm going to comment all of these. Right. So this div. No, we will not comment this one. We will use the form action we will use, right? So let's add the form body over here. This is form. Rest of the part we will comment it. This form. Okay, so here we have uh, add the route like this. <coughs> okay, route and we read uh, MailChimp. We will add. Okay. So this will enter your email and the submit, right? So this done. Let's create the route also. So you will add here um, Mailchimp, Mailchimp integration, Mailchimp integration, Laravel, right? So let's create the route also. So here we go with the routes. So routes are there. We have used the web part. So here we go with the routes. So here we have the drop zone controller import export view. Okay, we will use the export or import anything. We will use the on the import export send email get route drop zone. We will use this part, right? 
we'll use this one right post that our replay is also the post one okay so drop zone we are going to use um mailchimp right so drop zone controller drop zone store drop zone mail uh, we will add this just uh, mailchimp mailchimp right so it's to be mailchimp store we can make it function name is mailchimp store url should be mailchimp and the drop down drop zone dot store um, drop no its names to be because it's basically a drop zone so mailchimp we will add Okay, so let's have a look on that. So here we will make the uh, drop zone Mailchimp. Chimp. And here we will go with the Mailchimp. So let's create that function drop zone dot uh, mailchimp mailchimp function so where we go with the controller so we have to go for the controller so where is where is the controller part is app http controllers and http controller there is a drop zone controller so we have a drop zone store just copy it and make it drop zone store we have a drop zone mailchimp mailchimp right mailchimp okay so where we go with this one so we need to add this one uh, use news use newsletter right so here we have the you need to add this use newsletter okay why newsletter and uh, here we go with newsletter then we will use the store function request request this is that one so here we go with this one function ends here and this is ends here so we will route should be the mailchimp Where is our views file? This is drops on Mailchimp. Okay, so let's Laravel image newsletter.php. No, this one import plate. So, where we have had the route uh, drop, I think we should add the drops on here. Drop zone mailchimp so it will automatically pick this so let's see that uh, php artisan of okay let's run let's have a look on that drops on mailchimp not defined route in the views import blade.php drop zone mailchimp is not defined where it is says views part import so here we go with the part route mailchimp now Mailchimp not defined. Port where it is. Give me a second. Top zone. I think I am using the import controller. Might be. Let me check this web.php. So I am using the import. Send email. And the class is import import. 
I think the controller is mismatch send email controller so this is a function import export I will add public function import where the code it is so I will add the MailChimp right MailChimp let's request this one MailChimp so let's go to the web and uh, we will use this part post MailChimp MailChimp and the function name is also MailChimp and the name is also MailChimp so this is done so this is also and oh, I forget to add this newsletter also so let me add the newsletter also so here we go we need to add the newsletter okay this is done so let's run again and see is it working or not <coughs> sorted let's run it <coughs> so let's see i'm going to add the email um <coughs> rajni90 at the rate mailinator.com okay mailinator.com submit let's see the mailchimp mailchimp login 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 previously i think we have the eight contacts let's see how many contacts right now <coughs> all contacts so we have the eight and currently it's not there so the current what we have added it's not there let's see what exactly it's, it is doing let me check this one whether it is coming to that controller or not <coughs> mailchimp if the newsletter is subscribe request dot request is mail let's uh, print this one print underscore r expression request email let's make i right save this let's reload this get method is not supported it's to be import export rule right And let's check on which router it is going up. Dot com. I'm going to submit this. So it's going there. Okay. So it's going there. But why it's not here? means it's there if we not newsletter is subscribed request okay if it is no otherwise there is an option like if we uh, just comment this first line and the this second line right if the user if this comes then it will pay, uh, just subscribe this newsletter let's add this and let's see and uh, there is any um, okay there is something like we can add Right, so that we've come to know about the DD successfully whatever you can add just uh, go and just check again import export view here we are going to add our s45 submit successfully sent let's have a look
now you can see that test 45 at the red gmail right so it's there and what is the status of it you scroll very scroller this is the scroll and you can really see that it is subscribed right so this very simple function is let us subscribe request email and uh, do the manipulation accordingly okay so in uh, in the coming video uh, we are going to learn about the uh, how to add the name and the first name and the last name then we are going to proceed with the tags and how to create the custom fields in the mailchimp so all we are doing in this uh, latest race thank you so much for watching this video have a great day